without uh, going to move it again, I thought I would try to show the test vehicle. It's a uh, Miles ZX40 mini cargo truck, electric, and uh, it's made uh, by Miles, who is uh, out of business now. <laughs> in uh, 2009 and it's got all the sort of typical electric car conversion parts in it that you would find in a someone's converted car converted from gas to electric the test setup is uh, pretty similar to how I already had things set up except that uh, the planetary gear instead of being fixed is this actually showing somewhere there is uh, of course free to rotate uh, the, it's a spline shaft at the motor going to the rotors and the planetary gear and then the bottom end is just I held the the uh, drive shaft inside this uh, chunk of metal that I set up here so that it won't uh, drop down or anything so, uh, so far I don't have a proper bearing on here and a, a housing hole fixing everything in place okay the first time i tried it i had some trouble with the rotor coming loose and uh, eventually I finally figured that out and managed to tighten up the set screw on the rotor without taking it all apart so i finally got in the truck and tried one more time and so the next uh, clip is the very first time it actually drove the truck. Uh, yeah, I got in and said nothing ventured, nothing gained, and put it on and said, oh, great zod, it moved. In the second test, I had it uh, kind of jump over a little piece of plywood and a little short 2x4 <laughs> that actually has kind of rounded edges and uh, both the fact that it spun so much and the fact that it actually had trouble backing up over the 2x4 uh, suggests that there isn't quite enough magnetic coupling. It's, uh, I'm sure, in the right ballpark, but just uh, needs a little more. And interestingly, between the time I did the setup on the bench and the time that I actually had it in the truck running, I discovered you could make a, what's called a, a haulback uh, configuration. They called it a haulback array, which are confused me for a long time but I just discovered you could make a rotor that way and it would have more magnetic flux than just the alternating north-south by having some sideways ones that reinforce the in one direction and reduce it on the back side and I just about hit the garage door backing up <laughs>
if the drive was out of view last time, I tried to put uh, the camera on the side of the truck with a couple of C-clamps. But I didn't see a way to, to inverse the video, so it's upside down. <laughs> okay, the next day, I uh, opened the garage door and backed out. I only went about 16 feet, but uh, you can see in this video, as I speed up a little bit, that the spin on the planetary gear body actually changes and it actually stops and, and reverses. So that whole part of the theory was working out just nicely. Next I'll be uh, making the haulback, converting that rotor to have the haulback effect and uh, some more uh, depth of magnetic field out towards the front, which hopefully should bring it into pretty good balance with the mechanical reduction gears. Um, and in that I'll, I'll try and put, uh, I'll show the components separately and uh, what each little piece is in case anybody wants to try buying them you know what they they're called and uh, where to get them hopefully so there you have it the first tests of the mechanical slash magnetic automatic variable torque converter give us a thumbs up if you thought the content was worth it thank you